I'm going to click the left arrow and it, it's just letting me go um, video clip by video clip back through the timeline. I can click play and kind of get an idea of how my, my video clips look. This is some of the people in the technology office now. They're awesome. It's Halloween right now, so we've got some awesome Halloween decorations going on. So that's kind of what my movie looks like so far. On the right-hand side, I have Undo. And I also have an option to view the waveforms. And these are basically um, letting me see what the audio looks like of my video clip. I probably don't really need that right now, so I'm going to turn that off. One thing I can do is I can swipe left and right to do something called scrubbing, to go back and forth between all of the different clips I have in my movie. So let's scrub back to the first clip here. In this clip, I notice that she kind of turns and then waves, but there's the first few seconds of that clip where she, she didn't know I was filming. So I wanna edit that out. Now there's a couple things we can do. First of all, you probably wanna to try to zoom in. To zoom in, you wanna pinch. So use two fingers on the iPad screen and pull away from each other there. And that lets you zoom in. Now I can, I can scrub to find the exact spot that I want to edit. So I'm thinking about right here. I'm going to click on the clip and notice that there's an action menu that pops up at the bottom of your screen. So now I can click on the option that says split. And my two clips are now separate. So what I can do is I can select the first one and I can say, you know what, I no longer need that clip. Let me just go ahead and click delete in the bottom right. And now that clip is gone. So now our movie starts with her feet right away. I already like the way that looks much better. Let's click on the clip again and let's take a look at some of the other options that we have. Right next to actions, we have speed. So I could use this to create a slow motion version of my clip. I also have volume to adjust the volume. Maybe you don't want any of the audio that's from that clip. You just want music to play and you don't want any extra sound effects that we're playing in the back. We also have titles. So this is a good way for you to add text onto your video clips. Just another way to add different color effect to all of your video clips. I'm gonna go back to actions. Let's take another look at that. We have detach audio if you wanna entirely remove any sound from that video clip. And of course, the third option is duplicate, so I can make a copy of that video clip. Another thing we can do is change the order of the video clips in the timeline. So right now I'm gonna use pinch to kind of zoom back out and see more of my video clips. And if I go to my third clip here, we can see that I have a shot saying Happy Halloween. Now I'm thinking that maybe I wanna move that to the beginning of my movie, kind of use that as an intro. So I'm gonna just click on my video clip and I've held it down with my finger and now I can just drag it all the way to the beginning of my timeline. And now that kind of is a good way to start. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play to get an idea of how my movie looks. There's a transition. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanna add into my movie. I think that at the very end here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is click on it and go to titles at the bottom. And I'm going to choose the option that says focus. And it wants me to title my text here. So I clicked on my text and now I'm going to backspace and let's go ahead and put the end. I click done. And let's go ahead and rewind just this section here and hit play so we can get an idea of how it looks. All right. 